The 8.2 update will introduce a lot of new features and changes to players. The developers will add five new American tanks and three premium vehicles. Four maps will be remade to match new standards. Draw distance will also be improved as well as optimization for different computer systems. We'll tell you about this and lots of other features in this video. The biggest change is the addition of the new American combat vehicles. The new branch begins at the Tier 6 and Tier 7 light tanks, the T-21 and the T-71. The next tanks in that branch are the medium tanks, the T-69 and the T-54E1. And the top tier vehicle in this branch is the heavy tank, the T-57 Heavy. Starting with the T-71, all tanks in this branch will have a distinctive feature, an automatic loader. These are dynamic but poorly armored combat vehicles, so their gameplay is very similar to the gameplay of the French vehicles. To get some more detailed information, check New American Tanks in the 8.2 update. Four maps will be remade for the new render system. Prohorovka now has more rugged terrain. There are a lot of new hills and potholes in the middle of the map. Now it's really hard to move in these places, but it's easier to hide a lower tier of tank now. You should be extremely careful in these places, because the terrain can destroy your tracks really easily. Besides the terrain changes, the alley is also changed. The density of bushes on it is now a lot lower. The island that opened for players after the physics release was remade. Now there is cover and a way to get there from the side of the mountain. Village wasn't changed, but the mountain now has a more gentle downward slope. Erlenberg has few changes. Some rocks on the mountains and a house in the field was added. The visual outlook of the map was improved. Lighting was remade and the landscape has more roots. The map has such small amounts of changes because Erlenberg was changed recently, so there is no need to change it again so soon. Runeberg now totally matches its name. The city is more destroyed. There are ruins instead of buildings that cover vehicles from artillery. Alley also has a lower density of cover. Tip, when you play on Redshire, you won't see all the changes, but if you are attentive, you may see that the mountain is gentler now. If you climb to the top of it, you will see that there is no cover or rocks here. There is less cover now. You drive the river and oh, you've lost your track. Be careful, there's a cliff. If you drive down the river, you will see that the hill is rockier, so it provides better cover from SPGs now. The second mountain is steeper, so you can get to the top faster. The terrain is familiar, but it looks to be a little newer. Oh, and the hills over there became steeper as well. So you won't hide there from SPGs, and enemies can shoot you from behind cover easier. So be careful! Yes, these four maps were not completely changed like Abbey and Lakeville, but they look a lot better and the gameplay is more interesting due to the physics. There will be a new premium tank in the 8.2 update. The TOG-2 is a Tier 6 British heavy tank. It has a large amount of hit points and an accurate gun with a high rate of fire, but it's slow, has a giant silhouette and poor armor. The AT-15A is a Tier 7 British tank destroyer. Its perfect frontal armor and accurate gun with a great rate of fire are the advantages of this tank, but its low maximum speed gives this vehicle a single purpose. When the AT-15A is the top tier vehicle in a battle, it can be compared to the T-95 as it can easily assault or defend an entire flank. The FCM-50T is a tier 8 French heavy tank. This vehicle has an amazing maximum speed. Its rate is 50 kilometers per hour. Its powerful engine lets you move at this speed constantly. Besides that, the FCM-50T has a gun with a high rate of fire and average penetration. Its cons are poor armor, giant silhouette, and small alpha damage. The characteristics of this vehicle are pretty similar to the medium tank. Medium tank tactics are the most useful for this vehicle. For more detailed information about the new premium vehicles, you can watch new premium tanks in the 8.2 update. And now let's talk about the small changes. Draw range of landscape and objects was increased from 1,000 to 1,400 meters for maximum graphic quality. 
This means that from now on, players who select this quality will see the fog of war beyond the horizon, and they will be able to see the entire map. The developers also improved rendering performance of the trees and vegetation. This should reduce FPS drops in the sniper mode or when someone has a large amount of vegetation on the screen. The addition into the game mechanics is that fallen trees can cover your tank with its upper branches. The module repair indicator was added to the battle interface. You can watch how long the repair will take in real time. There are some changes in the tank research tree. If you use full HD, all tanks will be smaller. In addition, if you haven't gotten money or experience, a tip will show you how many credits or experience points you need to earn. Furthermore, some new achievements were added. They are awarded without a grade and can be earned several times by several players in a battle. Lucky is awarded if you witness the destruction of an enemy vehicle by an enemy team player within 10 meters. To earn the cool-headed medal, you must survive at least 10 ricochets and non-penetrations in a row from enemy players. Spartan can be earned if your vehicle has less than 10% hit points and you get a ricochet or non-penetration from an enemy round. You have to stay alive to earn this medal. Ranger is awarded for destroying all enemy light tanks, but the enemy should have at least three light vehicles. The medal called Patton Valley is also new. It's awarded for the destruction of 100 M46 Patton or M48A1 tanks. The 8.2 update brings a lot of new features into the game and fixes a few issues. In the next update, you will see the Chinese vehicles. But we hope that right now, you'll have something to do. Good luck on the battlefield and see you next time.